Hello guys, I'm here with Nervo girls. If I may say this, you're a splash of delicious, Ooh. colorful Aww. madness in the picture of every festival. Aww. But Aww, what does that. what does Tomorrowland mean to you? Uh, Tomorrowland is really pivotal to us because it's one of the first festivals that ever booked us as yeah. Nervo. And we wrote the theme song to it and I feel like it elevated our careers, especially because at that time dance music was going crazy and um, we, we, we always get very nervous for this time of the year, but we had the best set of our lives, I think, at Tomorrowland last week. Mm -hmm. So now we have to beat that. You have to beat the best set of your lives. Yeah. And that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, but there's no pressure because I'm going to give you the energy for it. Oh. I, mean, I, want, I, I want to add up to that. I'm usually intimidated by two really strong, oh, independent, talented, and good looking women. Oh, you're gorgeous. Don't worry. But you're delicious. And I just oh. want to ask you, <laughs> I just want to ask you something <laughs> about. Uh, your um, your height actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're tall girls, and you yeah. should have been doing modeling, I think. Oh maybe. no, 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 no! We're very happy not doing modeling. We have to do a little bit of modeling now with our work. Obviously. Yeah, of course. And it's I would say, look, the fashion side is fun. Yeah. But the modeling is just not. You had the chance, did you? Well, when we were when we were like 15, we were signed to an agency, but we never actually worked because we, we're identical twins. Yes. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but yeah. we used to look really similar. We had the same hairstyles. So we were part of an agency, but we were at school. So we yeah, we didn't work <laughs> and um, music music of course is has been our lifeline. Yeah. Yeah, you produce for so many big names, girls. I mean, just to mention one of them, you produced David Guetta and Kelly Rowland when Love Takes Over. I mean, how was that? It was awesome. How yeah. was working with David? That, that was a moment in our lives that just like, it felt like the, the, stars aligned. the stars aligned, the coin flipped and suddenly everything came together. You know, it was actually through Kelly Rowland. We met Kelly Rowland through her A&R because back then we were songwriters for other people, mainly pop stars. And um, <laughs> we wrote this song and Kelly's label did not like it. They were like, and so we just thought, oh, another wasted, you know, week of work. How do you feel when you, when you just work for some other people and it's wasted? Back then, I think we were a little bit down and out with yeah. the music biz. Yeah, we were a bit jaded. So I will say that David Guetta was our shining star because you know he breathed energy into that record and then we worked it was so easy working with DJs rather than pop stars there was less politics they released records quickly so but when you're working with pop stars it's like there's just a lot of politics behind it so then we started working with Afrojack, Avicii, Steve Aoki and it was really David who was like, girls, you love DJing, you've been going to Ibiza for years, um, you love club music, but you make pop music, why don't you try making more clubbier music and, you know, take your DJing seriously. Of course. And so we went away, we really, we bought CDJs <laughs> and, um, and, and we just put together a mixtape, we're like, David, this is what we want to play. He's like, I love it, I'll support you. And we, our first gig was warming up for him at Passion. One more question, because I like to keep it short and sweet. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I do Good in my that. personal life too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you started in a soap opera. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you you were in this soap opera, playing oh. your roles at, as DJs, and still you had you had dialogues yeah. too. What was it? No, we I think we had one word. Remember that we thing? In, soap yeah, I mean, it was that US thing we did years yeah. ago. Yeah, and so I want to see called? your soap opera face for for the end. Um, I mean, the when you oh yeah, the one the credit ones where they're like yeah. All right, ready? You're surprised, you yeah. That thing, just, you like, just have to turn around and be surprised like to these, this camera. These are this okay, camera. Ready, ready? Right. These Three, are two, one, the days go. of our lives. Nervo. Thank you, girls. You're <laughs> crazy. I love you. Hey, what's up? Romania! We are Nervo. <laughs> this is our first Romanian interview, I think. Yeah. And we're at Tomorrowland. And it's for Virgin Radio. Tune in to hear our set. Woo!